Ah, the holidays. Time for Yuletide merriment, good cheer, and Easter eggs. Get it, Easter! Pat Bratcha, she's late on- <coughs> She's late on stuff. Get it? Alright, moving on. You can pick up this shirt for yourself, for a loved one, for the holidays on Teespring. Link in the description down below if you can get it as a long sleeve shirt, a man's t-shirt, women's t-shirt, or a hoodie. And a bunch of all these colors. Look at all these colors. They're dope. Yeah. Art was done by Kitsune Zakuro. Go check her out down below as well. She's super awesome. And uh, yeah, happy, happy Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa. New Year's. Thanks. What is going on guys? This is Mike Williams from Cartoon Universe. I apologize for my voice. I got a little bit of cold. Don't know if you can tell from the last video. Uh, but we have some leaks that aren't exactly leaks because they're kind of like official announcements, sort of. But they're not announcements. It was just kind of lackluster <laughs> in the way that was presented. I don't know if it was 100% intentional or not. Uh, but it definitely gave us some hints. So if you're not aware, uh, Gemcation and Dewey Wins, uh, they've officially released on Cartoon Network, the actual television channel, uh, not just the app. And apparently, I don't know how true this is technically. Um, I didn't I, I didn't get a chance to watch this on television. Uh, I thought I recorded it, but I apparently didn't so I couldn't actually check this for myself. So if you're able to, if you recorded this, the you know, Gemcation and Dewey Wins, by chance, go check and see if this is real, for sure. At the time of recording this, I don't have 100% confirmation, so take it with a little grain of salt, but this looks like it's probably legit, so it's, it's very interesting. So in the credits for Steven Universe for Dewey Wins Gemcation, uh, we we get some interesting casting here. Uh, as we can see, we have Dr. Mahesh Warren. So the, the, the thing that's weird is like the casting is kind of backwards. So we have Dr. Mahesh Warren, which is the character that Mary Elizabeth uh, McGlynn who is the voice actress, and then the next line we have Barb, who's the character on the right, and then Kate Flannery on the left, who's the voice actress, and then we have a new character, uh, we have Joan Jett and Sunshine Justice. I don't know which one's the character, I guess I could just probably check that right now, Joan Jett. I think I've heard of Joan Jett, actually, uh, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so yeah, oh, Joan Jett, like... The singer Joan Jett? Is that is that what's happening? <laughs> so I guess we have Joan Jett uh, potentially being a character, Sunshine Justice. So it looks like there might be some sort of rock star character in Steven Universe, and their name is most likely Sunshine Justice, and I guess Joan Jett is a guest star. So Joan Jett is a singer, a uh, rock singer, and uh, she's part of the band called Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. I haven't heard too many of their songs, but I definitely have... Uh, heard of Joan Jett, so I, I thought that sounded familiar. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. So we have a potential guest star on Steven Universe playing a character called Sunshine Justice. I don't think Sunshine Justice is going to be any of the aliens or gems that we're set to probably meet in, uh, you know, the new Stranded special that will most likely have characters on that new planet or actually have confirmed that is actually a jungle moon. So on the jungle moon for Stranded when Stevani you know, are, you know, they're stuck, uh, I don't think we're going to get Sunshine Justice <laughs> in that whole string of episodes, but that's definitely very interesting. And then we go back and we have Jamie and Petey on the right again. So I don't know why Dr. H1 was on the left. It must have been just an error. There may have been a logistical reason for that. Absolutely not sure. Um, but yeah, we already have Jinx Monsoon as uh, Emerald. And then we have three songs, and these songs are pretty interesting. So the first one is G -G -G Ghost. <laughs> Obviously, kind of like a play on like you know the whole Scooby Doo trope of like oh no, there's a ghost. Uh, we haven't heard that song yet. I don't know. It kind of it kind of goes with the theme with Sadie and with uh, the Working Dead. It sounds like it's kind of in the theme with you know that was kind of like zombified. And this is uh, about a ghost. So I don't know. I don't know what's that. What that's about. Uh, that could potentially have to do with Sunshine Justice. Not really sure. Then we have that distant shore again. We're not. Uh, really sure what that is exactly. That could be uh, maybe a Lapis song or something like that. And it could kind of go along with the Sadie thing again. Not really horror-wise, but maybe she's lamenting about something. So that sounds like a very emotional one. Not Again, we have no real information to go off of here. Obviously, the Distant Shore is kind of a play off of uh, Beach City. So it's probably one of the Beach City characters, most likely. But Or or could it even be... <laughs> why did I just sound like Goofy? Or could we be... <laughs> or it could even be... Uh, that actually could be one of the gems or aliens that we may meet 
on the Jungle Moon, and that could be a song from them. So that'd be really cool. And another song is Sadie Killer and the Suspects. I don't know where that came from, but that's probably going to be the official band name for Sadie and the Cool Kids. And this actually could be The Working Dead. This could be the official title because we haven't technically gotten the official song name for that song. We just assumed it was The Working Dead because that makes the most sense. But it looks like that could very well be uh, what we're going here with here. So yeah, that's that's that. So that's very interesting. Not a lot to go off of here, but it definitely can give us a little bit of a hint. Like I said, I think G Ghost is most likely by uh, our new band, Sadie Killer and the Suspects. And I feel like that Distant Shore is either one of the Beach City characters lamenting about something, or it could be from a gem or alien that we might meet on the Jungle Moon uh, in the Stranded special. But we'll just have to wait and see. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think this is legit? I think it most likely is. It doesn't look like it's fake. And that this would be a lot of, this is kind of a pain to, to fake. So, but yeah, if you do have this recorded, definitely go double check just in case. But yeah, what do you guys think of these songs? What do you think they could possibly mean? And what do you think of the casting for Sunshine Justice? What do you think that character's role is going to be? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here for more Steven Universe updates and hit that little notification bell so you can get it right away. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've been Michael Williams. You've been watching Cartoon Universe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.